Right. Lord, we thank you for loving us and dying to set us free. We thank you that you are indeed good and the author of good. We thank you that you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. We thank you, O Lord, for your mercy that endureth forever. It is such a privilege to serve you, Lord God Almighty. Bring blessing to us, O Lord. Let us not only be hearers of your word, but doers also. In Christ's name. Amen and amen. So good morning all. Amen. We're together again, just praising the Lord. So, something good is going to happen. Something good is in store. We're together again, just praising the Lord. How amazing our God is. What an awesome God. The creator of the universe, not some distant life forces, cares about us. That is just continues to blow me away that the that God is so big and so holy and so amazing and he cares about us. Give us this day our daily bread. And we think, I know that prayer. That's part of the Lord's Prayer. Oh yes. Let me give it to you in New Living. Give us today the food we need. <laughs> How how unlike that verse is of what we've been, of what we've prayed all our lives as a, but how real that is. Today, we need yeah. food, oh God, and you are our provider. Yeah, we got an example here of a, uh, um, a sentence that is both uh, a request that, you know, literally a request for actual bread, physical bread, but at the same time is an analogy to all our uh, basic needs. That's right. So, so amazing. For, it's so yeah. amazing. All right. So it makes me think about this song. Whoops. Where to go? Come on. Don't let me down here. Okay, let's, let's just read it, Mike, okay? If you sing it, then uh, the Facebook people might think that you're a professional singer and we're stealing your stuff. But can you read it? Well, um... Okay, if not, that's okay, too. Yeah, I'm having glasses. Um, My, uh, Rich, can you read it? Uh, well, I got some memory for it. Let's say Jehovah Jireh, the, the, the name of God that speaks to him being our provider. There you go. I mean, literally, the song goes that way. and that's uh, Jehovah yeah, Jireh, never, my provider. His uh, grace is sufficient for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider. His grace is sufficient for me. My God shall my supply God all my needs according to his riches and glory. He will give his angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jireh cares for me, for me, for me. Je oh, sorry, I did it too, Mike. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, his grace is sufficient for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, his grace is sufficient for me. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. Jesus he will Lord. give his angels charge over his me. Angels charge over me. Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jireh, he cares for me, he cares for me. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. He'll give his angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. For me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. How amazing it is that good and godly people can write such glorious, simple songs that just make your day. Once you get this song in your head, well, you know, please God, let it just keep spinning around in your brain. <laughs> Jehovah Jireh, the Lord is my provider. How amazing that is. And that takes us back into Matthew 6, 11. Give us the food we need today. Like, like we just talked about, there's at least two different parts to this thing. Uh, 
let's talk about Philippians. Philippians 4.19. You got it up there. Oh, there it is. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. My God will supply all your needs. He'll meet all your needs because he is Jehovah Jireh, my provider. So give us this day our daily bread, and then my God will meet all your needs according to that. That is such a profound amplification of that, of that thought. Not just about daily bread, but God will provide all your needs. Let's do it does keep us oriented to the present. Right. Oh, to, to think, and this is where, uh, even from the very earliest mentions of bread uh, sustenance, of course, the, the great, great, great story is uh, that of uh, manna in the wilderness. Okay, let's read that. The Lord then. Sent them. Let's read that then. Yeah. We, so yeah, in, uh, in Exodus, we're down to yep. verse 4. The Lord said to uh, Moses, go ahead. Exodus 16. Exodus 16, 4. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Then the Lord uh, said to Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a day's, a day's portion every day, that I might test them whether they will walk in my law or not. In other words, it's a day-by-day -day thing. Yeah. Provision is a day at a time on Fridays. However, they gave a, a, they put out a double portion so that they wouldn't have to work on Saturday. That's right. Um, work on the uh, Sabbath, now, but again, but it's a um, it's a test as it was a, to to test to see if the Lord if they will trust the Lord for right. daily permission. That's 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 what's going on here. Okay, in my in my childhood, it was common for us to go down to Dennis Public Market and buy the day's food, but but this verse is not saying don't be smart about laying a waste laying aside stuff. So that no. if you're in a time of trouble, you can be a blessing to others. That's not being wise about being... Now, being a hoarder is a bad thing. <laughs> being, being a future blessing is a good thing. So the yep. Lord will provide today, and he will give you wisdom as to what to do about tomorrow. But you have to know it's not that you have four weeks of food in your basement that no. is your protection. The Lord is your protection. The Lord is the one right. who supplies your need. So there's no. kind of a balance there, not to go overboard. In or fact, overboard. The, go ahead. The man, the man would spoil if you kept it even a day. So yeah. it yeah. went bad. So it was strictly for that day. That's right. All right. Somehow it made it on Friday to, to Sunday, but uh, but um, it, it spoiled very quickly, apparently. Yeah. There you go. And, the, and there's one the, of the elements in the ark too. This is one of the things we found in. The, uh, this was such such an important uh, element uh, in their worship and their observance of who God is as provider. This was one of the things we found in the ark with the tablets of stone, with the commandments, the law, and um, Aaron's uh, staff. There you go. Uh, which miraculously budded. So uh, it fits in with those very, very essential elements uh, of what their walk was to be about and focused on. Amen. So the Lord is our provider. He provides bread. And we were praying and somebody said, why do I need to thank the Lord? I bought my food at, you know, the local grocery store. And then I said, what happens if it doesn't rain? And, and, and you watch his brain go, no rain, no crops, no driving it to the store, no buying it at the store. Lord, we thank you for the food. I mean, the, the whole process through this little kid was, okay, I get it now. <laughs> There's a lot of things that could keep it from getting to the grocery shelf. Lord, I thank you for the food. Yep. So right. that takes us to... It's an entirely different society. We've got to realize we're dependent on food chains. Right. We're divided, dependent on, on the delivery as much as the food itself. Without the delivery system... <laughs> the food is as good as worthless. So That's right. uh, you know, obviously have to make that provision, have to consider that in what really needs to be provided for. 
because that that food chain gets interrupted. You're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna get that daily progression. So um, anyway, um, yeah. it so, wants us to be sensible about this stuff. You know, there's there's a an application of wisdom here too that needs to be made. Amen. And we're grateful. Uh, we're grateful for the Holy Spirit empowering us to take care of others. I mean, that's just um, yes. How how blessed yeah. that is. Okay. So we just read about Moses uh, telling the people, hey, God's going to rain manna down. By the way, um, there's a couple different reference about what it actually tasted like. So, oh, no, I have to eat manna all over again? No, God is creative about how the, how the stuff tastes. And, uh, and really, if you're hungry, yeah, this is good. Uh, so we just went to Moses in Exodus now let's go to, to John chapter 6, uh, 32. Uh, 32, yes. Uh, then Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven, namely uh, Jesus himself. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. And in my, and in my uh, whatever I've got up, I tell you the truth, Moses didn't give you bread from heaven, my father did. And now he offers you the true bread from heaven, the true bread of heaven, the true bread of God is the one who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. <laughs> so Jehovah Jireh, my provider, he takes care of our needs, but he also is undoubtedly the bread of life and the true bread, and and what a powerful, <coughs> what a powerful sentence that is to his listening audience. Why don't you talk about what a powerful sentence it is to his listening audience? Well, I get some water. Yeah, he, the, the, this was said in the context of uh, uh, he himself being our provision, and he he. He directed us to, uh, in commemoration of, of his, uh, the fullness of his ministry, uh, eat bread as his, he called the bread his body, and it was to be consumed. He wanted us just not close to him, but actually in him. Uh, and that symbolism of actually eating the bread rep that represented his body uh, as that... Um, uh, teaching that lesson that uh, they uh, that he wanted him uh, wanted he, him, he himself uh, consumed uh, and uh, the wine as well as the uh, uh, same thing to take in uh, the realization of his sacrifice uh, uh, to drink the wine that represented uh, the blood he shed for the yes. payment of our sins. So I mean, all of this is provision. So. Uh, so, Jehovah Jireh, this is all part of that name, Jehovah Jireh. Amen. Mike, thoughts about this verse? Um, well, you know, I mean, as far as what we've been talking about, uh, giving us today our daily needs, is, I guess it's about everything that God provides on a daily basis. I mean, Amen. We, we we have a uh, what God wants us to be satisfied with is a place to stay that's safe and something to eat. Um, if we we should be grateful for that, and I I guess I'm grateful that I grew up poor and I learned I did I learned to respect a a small morsel of food and sometimes. My family of seven, we we uh, we didn't have anything, you know, and and we learned to get by with what we had, and we love each other even until today. My sister, she loves me so much that we share, we share everything, and uh, yeah. I I had a chance. I I drove Eddie and Yvonne to the uh, food pantry in Howitch, and. Yeah. There were just a bunch of folks there that really, I even went and I appreciated, like they had a lot of staples that, That's right. 
you can get by with, and especially you know when you don't have anything. That's right. So, so there's an appreciation of everything that you know. And back to the Lord's prayer, you know, I don't think He's just talking about physical food that we eat, but God provides every bit, every every morsel of life that's in us. Every that's right. Everything. That's right. Yep. So. I don't know if it's still true, but at one point, Teen Challenge had 60 men living in their dorm. Now, they had very efficiently uh, arranged things with different charities uh, or whatever, but they had zero budget that year for food. Zero. So imagine oh. feeding 60 people just on on provisions provided. And if the food didn't come in for breakfast, they went to the altar to pray it in. Like, what a great lesson that is that the Lord will provide. I mean, just think about the budget needed to feed 60 guys. I mean, you're not talking $60 here. But when yeah, the Lord, right. when the truck was slow getting to them, on their knees at the altar, crying out and giving thanks to God for the the certainty of His provision. Let's uh let's flip to the next thought here. And now we're in John seven thirty seven. John seven thirty seven. Okay, I'm gonna have to read off your screen. Sure. Uh, on the last day, the climax of the festival. Okay, this is uh this is the uh. uh Shavuot, this is the last of the uh, fall festivals. Uh, Jesus stood and shouted to the crowds, anyone who is thirsty may come to me. Anyone who believes in me may come and drink. For the scriptures declare, rivers of living water will flow from his heart. When he said living waters, he was speaking of the spirit who would be given to everyone believing in him. But the spirit had not yet been given because Jesus had not yet entered into his glory. Okay. So if you're thirsty, come to me. If you're hungry, come to me. If you have need. And then Waymaker says, you know, he is the Waymaker. Uh, so how cool is that? that? That God understands our needs. And that Jesus actually was hungry 40 days in the, in the, in the wilderness there. Let me take you to the next one. 2 Corinthians 9, 7. Okay. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. <laughs> so there's As it is written. The, 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 uh, the caveat here is God is the provider, but there's a thing we need to do too. We need to be obedient in our giving, and he will provide. It, it, it's really a, a, um, a, a, a law of sowing and reaping. Um, but, but actually it's a law of reaping and sowing. God gives... We give back, he gives to us again, you know. So how amazing that there's a, there's a God part of this and there's an our part of this. We, uh, we know a couple that were millionaires and they lost it all. Uh, oh yeah, we're really generous, but, but they weren't tithing. They weren't, uh, they weren't uh, oh, we can't do that. We have other things to do. And now they're building their way back up, and bless God, they don't live on Cape anymore or whatever, but uh, really a powerful story to me how their life changed in one, in one season. And then let's try... <laughs> Matthew, Matthew 6, 32, the pagan Gentiles seek eagerly after these things, but don't worry, for your heavenly fathers know that you need them. But first and most importantly, seek 
his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given unto you. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Taking us back to Jehovah Jireh, my provider, his grace is sufficient for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, his grace is sufficient for me. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. He will give his angels charge over me. What, a, what an awesome understanding to know that the creator of the universe who spoke the universe into existence cares enough about us to make sure that if we seek him first, he will be the, the provider of all our needs. Amen. Final thoughts, guys. Just that Jehovah Jireh, my provider, he, he provides everything, and I thank him. This time of year, I guess we, we all should be grateful for him. You know, today it can be, and it could be all taken away, you know, in a breath, and we just yeah. need to appreciate what we have yeah. and do the right things with it. And if we bless those around us with our, with what we have, we'll be blessed enough that all our needs will be taken care of. That's right. And just, just, just to be appreciative with things so little that you appreciate that, like when I got my one bedroom place, <laughs> it brought tears to my eyes yeah. and I was so blessed. And here we have people with 10 bedroom houses that are just miserable. That's right. You know? so. yeah. Amen. It's a perspective of your heart. It's a perspective of uh, your giving in, receiving. I mean, Amen. and I love that song too, Pastor. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, thank you, God, for Don Moen, who uh, sat down and heard the Spirit say this, and he wrote it out. Just uh, amazing to watch the 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 talent and the spirit led to put this together. Rich, final thoughts. Yeah, there's an interesting link, too, between uh, Deuteronomy and um, the uh, temptation in the wilderness. Yes. Uh, where Satan confronts uh, the Lord. Um, it, it Words in Deuteronomy, man does not live by bread alone, but, by, but man lives by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Important that we know, too, that the sustenance uh, that we need is not just the bread, but the Word of God. We yes. talked about His body uh, represented by bread and wine as it was in the Last Supper, but it, it's the Word of God. If there's anything that should be coming to us uh, as sort of a, a most continuous flow of uh, necessary um, blessing, it's the word itself. Amen. And uh, this this is brought forth here, and uh, Jesus may have made it a point to uh, uh, let Satan know, <laughs> remind him that th this is something that uh, it, what we're doing here goes far beyond just changing rocks into into bread. But but uh, keep yeah. the word in mind because that's what you're, what we're about to get from me. Amen. <laughs> and. Uh, very fitly put him in his place. Amen. Lord, we thank you for being the provider. We thank you that you've carried us through. We thank you for this little church has survived year after year after year when three churches around us have closed. We would ask for your, your blessing on us, that we would continue to be a blessing, that you would continue to heal the sick among us, and that you continue to restore families. We are grateful for the miracles of your love. Have your way, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. 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 <coughs> Thank you, Father, for everything you've given me, Lord. I 
I am so grateful for everything, just everything, and how everything works out according to your will, Father. I thank you for my for my my new baby granddaughter. Yay! She's healthy, hey. Lord God. I thank you for Isabella. And I thank you for her family, Lord. I just pray that you would continue to be with my children. Help Sam, Lord God. Help help him to just just be so grateful with two daughters, Lord God. And I thank you that they're both happy and healthy, Lord. I pray that you continue to protect my family, healing and blessing upon them, Lord God. Continue to work in in our lives, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that this time of year that we can look forward to sharing the love of God so easily, Lord. I thank you, Father. I pray that you just continue to guide us in your word, Lord God. I pray for this ministry in our church, Lord God, for our leaders, that you continue to protect and guide them. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Yes, thank you again, Lord, for your word, the instruction you've provided us here on this uh, uh, Thanksgiving before Thanksgiving, this Thursday. Uh, before uh, Thanksgiving Thursday, all of uh, that this topic should come out here. Give us plenty of time to reflect on what uh, all of you provided for us, our tangible needs and our spiritual needs. And uh, so much to reflect on. Help us to, to, uh, to uh, continually uh, draw from you our true source of our needs, our true source of life. And we ask this in Yeshua's name. Amen and amen. amen. Blessings amen. to you all. Amen. If you love it, share it. Blessings, everybody. Please share it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Adios. <laughs>